Good morning, uh, Facebookers and uh, and um, YouTube uh, and uh, 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 YouTubers. Um, Paul here from Arizona. It's Christmas Day. Just want to wish you all a, a Merry Christmas and uh, um, hope you guys have had a great day. And I'd also like to wish you a Happy New Year. So uh, about a, a little over a week ago, uh, Ant from the Big Shave um, uh, put up a post. Uh, uh, requesting that people uh, uh, write uh, down what their uh, Christmas shave would be, and so uh, today um, I decided, or uh, when when he put that post up, I I uh, outlined what I would use for Christmas Day, and uh, so today uh, I am going to go ahead and use those things in a video. So <clears throat> what I uh, posted on the uh, on the uh, uh, link or on the thread in the big shave was that. Uh, for Christmas Day, I would do a shave using um, um, uh, Floyd Sandalore uh, pre-shave, uh, Taylor's uh, German Street uh, cream, um, my uh, fader uh, two-band uh, badger brush, and uh, the piece de resistance, the uh, Robert Williams um, custom uh, straight razor. Um, uh, with the uh, giraffe bone handle and uh, um, I think when I put this uh, uh, when I posted a picture of this on the uh, on the uh, the uh, big shave one time I think Darren had to dub this the uh, Rambo razor so uh, today I will be using the Rambo razor um, this is a really a beautiful razor it is a uh, um, maybe about a, a, a half hollow ground uh, uh, razor uh, really shaves great. Um, it's big and it's heavy. Uh, it has a big old monkey tail on it, and uh, but it's really a beautiful razor. So today I'm going to be using that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my uh, pre-shave today. So for any of you guys out there uh, uh, or girls uh, who don't know what the Big Shave is, the Big Shave is a, a Facebook group that is uh, dedicated to uh, uh, wet shaving uh, or is a uh, Focus on wet shaving uh, enthusiasts, people who are interested in wet shaving. Um, this is a great place to get information, share information, give advice, and uh, uh, joke around uh, with uh, guys from all over the world uh, who uh, share a common uh, bond uh, in their enthusiasm for wet shaving. So, um, if uh, you're interested in, in that, um, you might want to check it out and uh, join the big shave. It's a lot of fun. So. Um, uh, pre-shave is applied. I uh, uh, really like the Floyd Sandalore uh, pre-shave gel. Stuff smells great. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just uh, first I'm going to shake my brush out here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just swirl the tips in the cream there a little bit. Get them nice and loaded up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just wet my face here a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and start face lathering this cream. The uh, this brush really is a, a luxurious brush. It, it's it's real soft, super duper soft, uh, and it has just tremendous backbone for a badger brush. Um, and, and of course, I think that's due to the fact that it's a, a two band, uh, which tends to have more backbone. But uh, this two band has uh, really unbelievably soft tips so I just keep applying a little more water and just slowly apply water as I face lather this cream uh, this cream is really one of my favorite creams it just smells absolutely beautiful um, and uh, it, uh, uh, it it's super concentrated just lathers really really easily uh, makes a nice, rich, dense, thick lather, and um, a little of this stuff goes a long, long way. So, as I think Michael Freeberg has said in numerous of his, in many of his videos, uh, the face lathering is good because you can kind of feel how the lather is coming along. If it's too dry or too too moist. Um, just by the feel of your on your face, 
Um, and also, in the process of doing that, you really work the soap into your skin and into your bristles. Um, and I think that just helps prepare the beard for, uh, for shaving uh, when it's time to, uh, time to shave. It just makes the moistens the bristles really, really nicely. And gets them all nice and soft, ready to shear off with your uh, ultra-sharp double-edged razor blade or straight razor, whatever whatever you might choose to use. So I hope everyone out there had a, has had a nice Christmas. Um, we've uh, opened our gifts here and uh, my kids are playing with their toys and uh, have not started fighting yet, which is always a good thing. So uh, hopefully that will continue throughout the day. Everyone will be peaceful and and have a good time without uh, shedding too many tears. Okay, looks like we're just about ready to go here. And this lather is just super duper rich. I'll probably add just a little more water here. Just absolutely great, uh, just rich and creamy. Okay, I can scuttle out so I can put my brush in there. And we'll go ahead and get started. So this razor really does a nice job. Uh, it's uh, the weight of it's nice. It helps uh, really helps us and really plow through the whiskers. Um, and feels real substantial. It's always kind of fun to use this razor because it, it really is a usable piece of artwork. Um, it is really uh, tremendously well made and, and really, really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to my face. Get ready for pass number two. Ooh, a lot of hot today. Ooh. So typically with my straight I just will do 
three passes, usually one down and I'm sorry, yeah, one one down, which is more or less with the grain, and then two up, which are across the grain, and uh, and call it good. Um, my hair growth on my neck grows to the side. And really, it's it's uh, it's really difficult, if not impossible, for me to get a true across the grain pass on my neck. So, or true against the grain neck pass on my neck. So I just don't even bother. Um, get a pretty decent shape uh, just just doing it just going against the grain with the first pass so I'm just going with the grain with the first pass and then across on the second and third. So on my cheeks for my second pass, I'll go, I'll go, nose to ear, ear to nose, and I just use my right hand, and then uh, then I'll, I'll keep holding it in my right hand, straighten out the uh, handle, and I'll go up. I'll try and keep the skin stretched pretty well. Then at this point for the, this, this side of my neck, I'll go ahead and switch to my uh, left hand. Okay, and for the third and final pass, again, uh, I'll go upward on my neck, I'll just, actually this pass is all up, so I'll go up on my neck, up on my cheeks, up on my neck, up on my cheeks, on my cheeks that's pretty much against the grain, so actually on, the, on my cheeks I'll get a true, add a little more water to this, I'll get a true against the grain on my cheeks, so the cheeks I can always get pretty much baby but smooth but the neck no the neck is uh, uh, one width and two across so and as you can see there's plenty of uh, soap on that brush just by pretty much just dipping it in the in the cream you've got oodles and gobs of just absolutely rich creamy lather Go. Finish that up. 
So, right hand. So sometimes I will use some alum to kind of help grip the skin a little bit because if you get a little soap residue there, it's hard to kind of grip the skin. But uh, um, the alum is, is, is over there and I'm too lazy to go over and grab it, so I'm just going to do the best I can here. So on these passes where I'm going up on my neck, I do try and kind of lower lower the angle of the blade a little bit. So. All right, there you have it. Rinse that off. I'm going to rinse off my face here.
So, it's pretty much a very nice, relaxing shave with some really luxurious shaving products that I really adore. Um, and uh, I, I, you know, pretty much from on, on a daily basis, I, I will use my DE razors, but on the weekend, sometimes I do, I do like to break out my straights and just take my time and, and enjoy a nice straight razor shave. Um, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, for my uh, Christmas shave. Um, just to kind of recap things, uh, uh, well, first of all, let me go ahead and uh, do my uh, post-shave uh, routine. So today I, I'm going to use the Alt Innsbruck, one of my absolute favorite aftershaves. Just absolutely smells great. Um, very manly scent, um, and has a n really nice menthol tingle, which I absolutely love. So Alt in Alt Innsbruck, there you go. And then uh, as a moisturizer. As that, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. But as a moisturizer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Kiehl's uh, Ultimate to Men's Aftershave Balm. Um, this stuff is really concentrated, and also has a little menthol in it, and a little goes a long way with this stuff. Not as thick, of course, as the Arco Cream, but uh, uh, it is one of the thicker uh, post shave balms that I have. So there you have it. Um, just to sum things up, uh, today I used the um, Taylor's uh, German Street uh, Cream, the Thader uh, Two Band uh, Badger Brush, the Robert Williams Custom Straight Razor with Giraffe Bone Handle, Floyd Sandler Appreciate, Alt Innsbruck aftershave and Kiehl's balm. So again, I hope all you guys have a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and uh, I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas and uh, I will see you soon. Bye.